Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, have you guys ever wondered if you're actually having a good day? Well, I got a video for you that will actually prove to you that you're either having a good day or a not so good day on the court. Stay tuned. All right, so have you ever practiced on the daily, like either with a person on the machine or with a coach and have wondered like, you know, is it like Groundhog's Day today? Did I just do the same thing over and over again? Or did I actually do better than the day before? Well, I got this video for you to show you and to prove to you if you actually had a better day. Now, I got my buddy Patrick here, you know, who's going to join me on this one. We introduced Patrick, come on over Patrick. Uh, we introduced Patrick to Swing Vision back in July. And Patrick is kind of a true, true beginner, but he is very, very athletic. So he pretty much loves the game, wants to be out there every day, He'll serve a million balls, and but we don't know because half of them wind up somewhere and half of them wind up in the moon and in the net and all over lot. the fence, parking lot, you know, but but it kind of looks like that every day. Therefore, we brought in swing vision to see if, you know, it's going not as far into the parking lot and staying in the court a little bit more. So, so I want to first thank uh, Patrick for doing this with us and uh, to show you how swing vision can help us. So Patrick, when, when you first started playing tennis, uh, did you feel like it was Groundhog's Day? <laughs> I don't know about that. Well, I think starting right before COVID shut down, basically, you know, I have a racket, a ball and a wall. And you just kind of figure it out. But Feedback has always been something important to me, right. and I wasn't receiving that, and especially from a wall. The wall never lets me win. Right. That's the one thing. The wall is always the winner because it gets it back to you. Unless you hit it over that wall, which is what I do a lot, <laughs> then you got to go fetch the ball. What was your hope with incorporating swing, swing vision? I, I'm definitely a nerd about things. So okay. definitely data and information was really important to me. Especially feedback if I'm getting better. Okay. Okay, so let's go back to July. Uh, we're going to analyze your your stuff here, okay? And let, let's let take a look at some of the footage. Let's take a look at some of the numbers for when you first started. Okay, looks like you hit top spin. You know, that's a pretty good stroke for a beginner. You know, I, I just think you're bailing out a little bit, um, hitting the ball pretty solidly, staying with a nice wide base, transferring weight. That's, that's great. I mean, I don't see a whole lot of things wrong with it. So let's take a look at some of the, the numbers here. Longest streak. My longest streak of 16 balls in before I hit one out. And then the next one is streaks that were five to eight shots. So holding right. a rally down was only 10%. Right. So, and right. See, and that's a big number when you think about the idea of, you know, this whole, you know, keep the ball in play, especially right. at, you know, a 3-0 level. Right. It's like, well, I, I'm going to struggle holding a rally. Right. So if you can increase that 10% to, let's say, 20%, 30%, you'd right. win more Have points. A chance to win some more points. Right. Exactly. And then under five shots is 84%. So that's not a great number there. It means I got to learn how to surf and volley. Right. There you <laughs> Get go. Done quick. Like one, two, three, four, <laughs> done. Four <laughs> shots, you win the point. Got to do that. So a month later... Uh, longest rally or longest streak was still 16, but the big number here is that you raise the percentage of your shots that were five to eight shots in to 24%. You more than doubled, right. um, let's say, your longer rally, your five to eight shot rally. So that's huge. Right. And you can see like the shots in in general, I opted it by 10%. I mean, but, but you could definitely tell within a month's time that there was improvement. Right. And actually, if you look at the visual, what was neat is I was hitting a deeper ball, which is definitely 
in favor of winning a point in the match. Right. So yeah, there is definitely a dramatic change with improvement. Whereas for me, without this information, you know, even if I record a video of myself, I just look at myself and I'm like, okay, hey, I look good. I'm, I try to remember, I feel good. But now I can actually look at information and know I was good. And that to me is, you know, it's like a coach in my pocket. We're just gonna break it down. Uh, we did this ourselves. Uh, this is not something that Swing Vision did. The percentage of shots in increased by 10%. Right, forehands in increased by two, backhands in increased by twelve percent. There, yeah, I'm comfortable with the backhand. Yeah, um, average shot speed went up almost ten miles an hour. Uh, your shots beyond the service box almost doubled. Here, we're looking at forty-seven percent to eighty percent. Right, that's the number that was that kind of blew me away. Right, as the levels get better and better, you know. The, there's going to be less and less mistakes. Right. right. So. I think coming into this, uh, you know, like you were saying, I was focused on miles per hour. I want to hit the ball hard. You know, I'm a big guy. I got to hit big. Right. But the definition of big is, is different depending right. on what you're trying to do on the tennis court. And in this sense, this beyond the service box, that's me going big because if I'm able to double that number just in a month of practice. Right. And be consistent about it. That's huge. And then you can see the miles an hour went up also, but you're more consistent with it, which right. is awesome. Instead of just going out there and hitting, you know, right. 400 balls, I can just go out there with an actual focus on to work on one thing over another. Right. You know. So for all you geeks out there, uh, like Patrick, I mean, there's actually a lot more data that this program gives you that if you really wanted to geek it out, you definitely can. Um, it's uh, it, it's almost endless how you can overanalyze your game um, and you know see exactly what you're doing if you're doing well or if you're not doing well. Um, I mean, we just basically showed you you know what we thought are the key points to somebody who's kind of starting off. But I mean, even if you're an advanced player, you you can definitely tell like from yesterday to to today to tomorrow that, um, you know, you had a good day or you didn't have enough energy. Um, you were overshooting it today, overcooking dinner, you know, any of those things. Um, I mean, the proof is in the numbers. It shows if, if you were doing well, the video don't lie, right? There, there's this one thing that our editors caught of you doing when you serve <laughs> and and we thought it was really funny that um when you serve that whether it's in or out what are you doing patrick before i finished my follow-through of the serve i was putting my hand in my pocket to reach for the next ball to serve and i was wondering about that and I, was, I was looking at it and i was like what am i doing and i focused on not putting my hand in my pocket and I feel realize that my follow through can be more finished, more, more follow through. You know what? In a match, I shouldn't be putting my hand in my pocket after I serve. Un unless you're purposely trying to hit the first ball out. <laughs> <laughs> and, but if it goes in, then you're kind of in the middle of the court with your hand in your pocket and what's going to happen. You're going to get handcuffed, right? right? Very odd habit I was forming. <laughs> I've never heard of that habit, but <laughs> But I'm glad Swing Vision caught it. <laughs> okay, so let's let's quickly look at um, serve analysis here. Uh, from back in July to August, 27% was in. That's one out of four, Patrick. <laughs> that's, that, that, that's a good day for me. <laughs> and their longest streak of going in was three. Okay, that's not a great streak. But let's fast forward to August. Half of your serves went in. That's a huge improvement. Your longest streak was five. You got right. five first serves in, let's say. Right. But my yeah. miles per hour did jump almost 10 miles on average. The biggest thing for me is mm -hmm. if I look at the heat maps, my serves are a little bit more accurate in the sense that I can actually almost get a corner. You can see by my shot pattern, I'm deeper in the service box. I'm not laying up a powder puff right. ball right up front like I was. And again, yeah, a lot less into the net, a lot, a lot less out. So let's look at the cheat sheet here that our editors did. And uh, you can tell shots in doubled, right? Um, 
serves in, like, not quite doubled, but up 13%. Serve in percentage uh, jumped up huge, right? We went to nine from 9 to 72. That's a lot of accuracy there. The big number for me is shots in. Right. If I right. can place that serve, which was next on my list, you know, placement over pace in a lot of ways is going to win points is what I'm learning from everyone that I play with. So Patrick's actually got a great philosophy on tennis, right? He's looking at serves in. If your serve ain't in, if your shot ain't in, we ain't playing anyways. So that's a great look, outlook on the actual game of tennis. Last person who hits the ball in wins the point. Simple. How many times are you going to really blast it past people? Like one out of 20? And then you lose 19 points when you win one. So <laughs> and I've, I've, I've experienced that personal. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank my man, Patrick, for hanging out with me today, um, analyzing his strokes through swing vision. And, uh, hey, you know, all, all we got to do, watch ourselves, check the, check the data. Okay, watch the film. It's all there for you, and it's so easy. All right, guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin where we put our spin on your tennis. All right, guys, so if you want to try Swing Vision for yourself, there's a 14-day free trial just for you. And if you decide to continue with it, there's a $20 discount code. Link is below. Swing Vision, definitely check it out.